My name is Stan Falkum. I'm the CEO of Hema Seafood. In my past experience, I was operating technology companies in the sea-based aquaculture space of Norway, but I saw a lot of problems in the sea-based aquaculture uh, practices, which turned me into this new technology that has been developed in Norway over many years. I'm Heidi Kivik. I'm the CEO of AVI, which is a technology company uh, being the process supplier for this fantastic fish farm at Rukan. Technology has changed a lot uh, over the 30 years. It's been now more secure, it's a modern technology, it's more automized technology, and it's now really mature for growing large-sized fish on land. Here we're doing a full, what we call RAS system, recirculating aquaculture system, whereby we take all our water and through a set of processes, we will clean it and disinfect it, oxygenate it and we provide the most pure, pristine habitat for the fish to actually thrive and grow in. A great feature of this farm here, because it's so contained and we control all the parameters, is that we actually control each growth phase of the fish from the time we get them as eggs, right through to the time we're going to harvest them at four and a half kilos plus. In doing that, that allows us to keep a better and a tighter control on the whole biological process, which means we're more economically efficient with our feed and our equipment, means we're more biologically efficient in allowing the fish to actually grow in their natural conditions, which is what we're providing here. You're going to be able to grow these fish to a sustainable size, in sustainable stocking densities with no disease, because we, again, we control our water and our environment, and we can control how much we feed, so we're going to be very conscious of any feed waste, and whatever biological waste we have, we are going to use that in our organic fertilizer business. Now we are standing in a site where we will build uh, our first HEMA facility in the US. So healthy food comes from healthy soil. Unfortunately, most soils today are not healthy due to 70 years of industrial farming techniques. We have to go back to organic farming. And in order to get the healthy soil in organic state, we need organic fertilizer, which is our important byproduct from the trout facility. When we are producing one kilo of premium trout, we will also be producing half a kilo of high quality organic fertilizer. That is a byproduct which the technology enables us to collect and reuse into an organic fertilizing product. The world is already in a fertilizing crisis due to the amount of people that we are to feed on the current situation in Earth. So we need more food production, more fertilizers, in fact 70 to 80 percent more than what is produced today. In order for artificial fertilizer to reach the plant, you have to fertilize 50 percent more than the soil or the plant is needing in order to grow. And that excess nutrients are running off to rivers and waterways, ending up in the ocean and destroying coastal climate. We are now here in North Carolina. That, as is the case for the rest of the world, is experiencing a dying off of ocean marine life due to over nutrification of rivers and oceans. Over nutrification means that you are injecting too much nutrient uh, in a water system than the ocean life can handle. That situation only creates an environment where harmful algae and things you don't want in the ocean can thrive. By using organic fertilizer, it's, it's not only more profitable and economic viable for the farmers to use but it binds to the soil. So the nutrients are not run off to the waterways, but it's kept in the soil to support that important ecosystem. In our system, we are recycling 99.7% of all water at all time, meaning that we are using very little water in order to produce a huge amount of fish. The water is the raw material the fish need. We're gonna recycle it in a closed aquaculture system, but the importance of the water quality is what makes the fish taste especially good. It's also very important in terms of creating the best environment, which is important for fish welfare. We're very, 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 very conscious of our health and our fish welfare status and how we intend to grow these fish. We again take all this pure, pristine water from the mountains and we're able to control the temperature of it, the flow of it, flow rate, the amount to each tank. So we are effectively providing the most pristine environment for our fish to grow in. You add biology and technology to that, and it is the most pristine environment for fish to grow in. As compared to at sea, where you're subjected to calm day or stormy day, we're not subjected to that. We don't have uh, any issues with predation or storm damage or weather-related damage. Sometimes trout are grown in flow-through systems that could be attached to a river. We don't do that either. We control all these parameters internally here all the time in all the stages. Very important factor about land-based recycling system is that you can actually farm fish, not only in Norway, which 
has the perfect ocean conditions, but you could now do it on land on almost all parts of the world, which is very important for food security. More than 99% of Atlantic salmon and rainbow trout consumed in today's world are farmed, as opposed to widely caught 20 years ago. However, you can see the conventional open net pen farming, which is the agriculture industry's standard farming practice, has raised many environmental concerns. The choice to invest in HEMA uh, foremost is that the sustainability lies at the heart of foresight business, because without technology-based solution, we're going to see irreversible impact to our ocean. So ranging from population growth, uh, climate change, food security, has put the future of the food production firmly on the sustainability agenda. And also a success of the HEMA project will introduce more capital into this sector and support its future growth. What we see currently is there's a gap in controlled environment agriculture between on one side project developers like HEMA, which have high sustainability vision, but on the other side institutional investors, which share that vision but are concerned of the commercial and the financial viability of individual projects. So Foresight can help make the HEMA project successful by bringing a wide range of project financing, technical, and a set management skill set. Ross technology is developed, it's now mature to be implemented all over the globe. You can place it everywhere. It's low consumption of natural resources, no carbon footprint. You have a very low feed conversion rate compared to other protein production sources. We look forward to be a part of a more sustainable way of producing food. Polluting our planet is no longer an option. We need to utilize and recycle our resources to make a more sustainable food system, increase animal welfare, and make a healthier planet for future generations.